you can see, we put new stabling in the barn a few weeks ago. And um, this enabled us to bring the cows in, leave them on the cows while the cows are milking. So the calves get the chance to nurse for a minute. And then we can. We used to have to then shove the calves up the door, the calves are getting too big for them. So now I can just tie the calf up without the nursing, but a few of the calves every now and then still reach over and bunch the milker off. Of course, I'm filming today. So everything will go wrong. trying to film like a milker hose falling off it wasn't on a cow's fall door. This cow that seems to want to crowd it into her calf today. But that's the way it goes. All in all the system seems to work. Okay. Jet stream. The calves do learn to just stand there. They they fought it for a couple of days but and typically, like this calf can reach that cow right now if he re really tries, but they seem to learn not to. So um, yeah, you get the occasional calf that knocks the milker off, but it's really not that bad. Uh, what I'm finding doing this is I'm getting much better milk let down from the cows and the calves are doing better because some of the calves, if the cows were letting their milk down pretty good, If the uh, cows were letting their milk down really good, I wasn't taking the time to bring the calf in, and it just saved me a lot of time and hassle. And then I'd turn the calves out after milking, but I found then the calves didn't get a good enough feed right away after being locked up all night. And some of the calves were getting a little thin, so this way the calves all get to nurse for a minute. I let them nurse a little longer on the first calf heifers and these older cows have quite a bit of milk so I don't let the calves nurse as long because they'll get